Michael Thompson, you got to feel like you died and went to heaven. Yeah, this is uh, what basketball is all about. At least it's the way it should be played. Playing for the Lakers, playing for a winning team, and great players that I'm surrounded by, so it does feel like heaven. But I'm not surrounded by any angels, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that you've brought is an angelic look to the Los Angeles Lakers because you fit in so doggone well. You are a great student of the game. You'd have to be to capture the Lakers' sequence so fast. Well, I love basketball, and I've played against the Lakers for so long that I basically knew their plays from a, as an opponent. But um, I do pride myself in really knowing the game inside and out. The last two Sundays, you've had some pretty exciting games. The first day you joined the Lakers was Boston, then last Sunday, Philadelphia. Wow. Yeah, I'm not ex I wasn't expecting all these close games with the Lakers. Every time I was playing against them, they always <laughs> win by 20 points. Yeah. Now that I'm with them, you're getting all these close games. So I, I think I'd prefer to go the other way by us winning by 20 every night. We don't know much about you and your family and so forth. You got family back in the Bahamas? Yeah, I've got uh, three brothers and three sisters. My parents are still living in well in the Bahamas. Say hello to them and to the Bahamian people. I've a, I have a sister in New York and a brother that's living with me or staying at my house in Portland. So we have a big family, literally. Everybody's big. Now, are they tall? Yeah, my, my shortest sister is 5'9", and I have two brothers, 6'4", and my youngest brother, 6'6". Six, six, so. Were you always the, the biggest of the family? You're 6'10". Well, when I got to be in my mid-teens, I started to sprout up really fast. I was 6'7", and then I got to 6'9". The weather's nice in the Bahamas? All year round. There's no All such right, thing as bad now, weather. I trapped you. How the heck can a guy go from the Bahamas? <laughs> Beautiful weather, right, heaven? Right, right. And you go to Minneapolis, 30 below. Well, I wanted to see what snow was like, but uh, Minneapolis is kind of ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that cold, to tell you the truth. But uh, Minnesota recruited me out of Miami, Florida, and they had a real good basketball tradition there. Uh, Jim Brewer and sure Ron Hagen, Bill Musselman, and I wanted to be a part of that, plus playing the Big Ten, because as you can see, the Big Ten produces the best players, because Magic Johnson came from there also. You taught him well. That's right, the kid. I tried to recruit him out of Minnesota, but uh, he wanted to stay home, close to mother's home cooking. I couldn't blame him for that. But uh, he used to come to me for advice every before we played him every game, and uh, he's still following it today. Now, your junior year in high school, you went to Miami from the Bahamas right. to finish your last uh, two years. Right. Uh, I was uh, real tall, I was six foot seven, 178 pounds, and I loved basketball. And basketball at the time in the Bahamas was not going any place, even though we loved it down there. We just didn't have the facilities and the coaching uh, people to, to teach us the game. So I figured if I wanted to advance in basketball, I'd better get away to Florida and see if I can get a college scholarship. How could you go to Florida? Well, I had some friends in Miami that I could stay with in this, in this certain school district. And I uh, enrolled in the school and just lived with some friends. Under what program? I mean, how, how do you do that? Uh, well, you foreign just, uh, exchange? Yeah, you just apply for a foreign visa, uh -huh. a student visa, and uh, they're easy to get as long as you don't have a police record. <laughs> you can easily get them. <laughs> and I know you don't have that. That's right. Now, some people have accused the Lakers of robbery, though, since they got you from the Alamo. Uh, what was your first impression when you heard, I know you were in the locker room dressed to play a game that night, and they said, hey, get out of here. Wow, boy, I tell you, my adrenaline started flowing. I got goosebumps all over me. When I finally realized the deal was complete, uh, I was so excited. But I didn't want to show too much elation because I respect my sure, teammates, sure. and I didn't want to start, you know, with this 10-mile-wide uh, grin in front of my teammates because I, I really missed those guys, and I didn't want to show them how happy I was to be coming to L.A. because I thought that would have been disrespectful to them. Had you heard the rumors? Oh, yeah, for about a month. And uh, like I said, I was wearing out my knees praying, boy, that this deal would come through. <laughs> the yeah, only guy that went to against, bed with knee pads. That's right. Nothing against San Antonio, but uh, I was really looking forward to coming to L.A. and playing with Magic. I think that you can feel the warmth that the fans of Los Angeles already have extended to you and uh, personally for our broadcast crew and for the rest of the team and the organization from uh, Jerry Buss on down. Thank you. Well, thanks for having me here. Thanks for making me feel so welcome, L.A. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Thompson, M-Y-C-H-A-L, I'll have you know on the Lakers Basketball Network. Laker Basketball brought to you by your Toyota dealer and the all-new Sporty Corolla FX16. By Great Western's family of companies over $25 billion strong. By Taco Bell serving your favorites from tacos to the new double beef burrito supreme. By the California Lottery. Did you play your six lucky lotto numbers? The more people play, the bigger the weekly jackpot gets. By Pacific Bell, a Pacific Telesis company. By Denny's featuring the famous Grand Slam breakfast and new combo dinner specials. The first half of the game was brought to you by Coors Light, the Silver Bullet. There's no slowing down with the Silver Bullet. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, from Phoenix, Arizona, the score at halftime, the Lakers 48, the Suns 46. Magic Johnson is not playing in this basketball game tonight. Same two teams will be at the Forum tomorrow night, and whether or not Magic's Achilles will keep him out for another night of rest, we do not know yet. That determination has not been made. Of course, the highlight of the game and the reason the Lakers are leading by a couple, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar made the first three-point shot of his life. 
Reggie Jackson is going to be with Keith Erickson in a moment. We just visited with Cotton Fitzsimmons and his lovely wife. So everybody's here in Phoenix tonight, and the score 48-46 at halftime. The Lakers are in front on the Lakers Basketball Network.